right, so what does it mean to experience nature? What does that mean? Experience in nature. What does it mean to experience nature? All right. Get information. Get information from where? From the nature. Okay. Oh. Tell me more. Tell me more. Take information from the nature. From nature. What, do, what does that mean? <clears throat> Discovery the nature. So you, you so you can experience nature with the intent on discovering, making uh, observations, scientific research, right? We do that all the time. Environmental scientists do that. What does it mean? It's more in trying to try to test out. Informative. Having a new experience or having a new activity. So the, the new hobby. How many people uh, hike in the desert or go hiking? That's a famous, uh, that's a very popular activity, pastime, right? Hiking. People do it to what? For relaxation, to experience new things. What does it also mean to experience nature? What does it also mean to experience nature? As we can see in the photo, uh, they are going to discover and find something new in the nature. All right, so what are they doing? Uh, this one is hiking. I think so. I think these two people are hiking. Yeah, or walking through the. So they look like they're walking through some type of rough terrain. They're walking through some type of rough terrain. Are they, can they, are they mountain climbing? Yeah. No. Nope. All right. No? No. Yeah. Maybe? What would, what would indicate in that picture that they may be mountain climbing? No. The, uh, the they have the a rock. Oh. The, the height. The height, the elevation? Yeah. Are they wear uh, coats? That's when they are. That's when it's cold. Oh, because they're going to a higher elevation. <coughs> yeah. The higher you elevation you, you climb up, the, the colder the it gets. Right? So yeah, that's a good one. So that's a very good way of, of taking a picture and making a determination about what's going on in the picture. All right? So taking bits of information to determine what may be going on in the picture. So good, good observation. What is another observation or something else that you see in that photo that may suggest that they might be climbing? Mm. Their shoes. Their shoes. Their shoes. Yeah, their shoes are their, their shoes are designed for for climbing. climbing. All right. They doesn't have a rope. They don't have a rope, yes. but they're not doing. I don't think they're doing uh, like dangerous mountain climbing. They're just doing high elevation where they're walking up. They don't need a rope. Yes. But they're just walking up a higher elevation. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So are are they experiencing nature? Yes. 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 Yeah. Um, what has happened over the last month? Let me ask you this: Is experience in nature always a positive thing? No. No, maybe not always. So, what has happened over the last month that would suggest that experience in nature is not always a positive experience? Hot weather. What has happened over the last? Tornado. Hot. Okay. Hot, hot weather. Yeah. Okay, in summer, <laughs> summertime, um, the summertime in Saudi Arabia or the Middle East may not be pleasant for some people, right? Yes. So that's not a positive thing. But what has happened recently? The tornado. The, the tornado. They're not tornadoes. They're yeah, like hurricanes. hurricanes. Yes. Just a quick video update for everyone. Our hotel roof came off and both floors completely exposed. We're being evacuated to school. The eye is over us right now. So we have very limited amount of time to do this. I'll give you a quick video update of what it looks like. Well, it's completely gone all the way down to the second floor. Debris everywhere. Roof's totally gone. Room's exposed. Harvey is no joke.
Okay. How about experience in nature there? That's positive. Huh? That's unpleasant. Yeah. Unpleasant experience. Positive experience. It's positive? Yeah, I think it's negative. Negative experience. <laughs> I think it's a positive. Uh, it's a negative experience. How is it positive? You said you think it's positive. It's positive. so exciting. Uh, well, I think if you're in it, it, it may look exciting on the video, right. but if you're in it, I think you would feel different. Terrified. <laughs> terrified, right? Yeah. yeah. I think you feel different. I'm not terrified. Okay. Well, there's some people who are not terrified, and they go out in weather like that. They're called storm chasers. Anybody yeah. is? Yes, There's a television is. show called Storm Chasers where they actually go into the eye of a storm, the eye of a hurricane or a tornado. Yeah. Okay. I think they're crazy, but that's just my <clears> opinion. <throat> but so, yeah, you're right. Some people do find exhilarating. They, they find it very exciting to, to experience nature in a very dangerous way. All right. We call those, those type of people thrill, thrill seekers. All right. Thrill seekers. Thrill seekers. Uh, people, storm chasers will be thrill seekers. <clears throat> These guys in the front of the, co the cover may be thrill seekers. All right? There are some people who climb dangerous mountains without a rope. And they do it, they, they, it's called, uh, they do it by hand. Rock climbing by hand. Okay, these will be examples of thrill seekers. Okay? So, what is the point that I'm making? Somebody tell me the point that I'm trying to make here. Yeah. That experience in nature can be what? Can be yeah, it, can be it can be a pleasant experience or it can be a very unpleasant experience. Yes. Okay? <clears throat> you know, we all, not we all, but most of us enjoy water in some type of way. Looking at it, swimming in it, boating in it, yeah. fishing, right? These are the pleasant aspects of experiencing nature. However, that same water can turn into Tsunami. something that can kill you. Yes. Right. Isn't that right? Yes. Water is what? It's the essence of life. If you go three days without it, what will happen? You would die. You would die. However, if you have too much of it, you would die. All right? So experience in nature can be both a pleasant experience and an unpleasant experience. Let's, let's look at um, the reading here. It says, the powerful influence of weather. Now, what would that, that's on the next page, on page 23. The powerful influence on weather, of weather. What might that title suggest? What does that title suggest? The powerful influence. What can we, what can we, uh, determine or guess <laughs> about that title, the powerful influence of weather. What can we what can we determine about that title? That weather has big effects. Yes. The weather has a big effect. Big effect? Yes. So that title suggests what? Uh, the weather can change your mind. All right, it has some type of effect on you, right? It has an effect on you. Effect in it, uh, uh, effect and effect on you. This is the noun, this is the verb. All right, what else does that title suggest? What do you think that reading may be about based on that title? The ball you have, it's a disaster. It may talk about natural disasters. 
Maybe. What else? The two sides of uh, nature. The, the two sides of nature. What else does that title suggest? Uh, I think you, you take power from the, the from the weather. If you do like uh, exercise in hot weather, that you can't maybe run just for five minutes. If you do it in a cold weather, you can't do it from just. Two All right. Minutes. So the weather affects our activity. Yes. It affects our our activity. It affects our what? Does would you would you would you say that you're saying it also affects our lifestyle? Yes. Vocabulary word from last chapter. Yeah. So weather can affect our lifestyle, right? Yeah. All right. People who live on a beach, Miami Beach, what type of lifestyle do they have? They have a totally different lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. Versus people who live in high elevation areas or the desert, right? Have a different type of lifestyle. So yeah, weather can absolutely affect your lifestyle. If you are into it in Alaska, what type of lifestyle would you have? I have a cold lifestyle. Yeah, it's, it's cold, and you have to do a lot of what? Hunting and a lot of preparation because you don't know when it's going to, you know, how much snow you're going to get. You're shut off from the world, so you have to store a lot of food. Isn't that a powerful influence that weather has? Yeah. Yes. All right. So it most definitely changes lifestyles, for sure. Okay. Let's, uh, let's look at some of the vocabulary words that we might see in this in this uh, reading and then what I want you to do because we do have a quiz I want you to read this tonight and we'll come back tomorrow but I want to look quickly look over that word also let's, let's also determine how these words give us a bigger okay, Help us preview or predict yeah, experiencing it. what we're going to experience or what we're going to read in the passage. Okay? Asthma. Asthma. That comes in your chest. You can't right. breathe. So it's an illness where you have difficulty breathing, right? <laughs> Atmosphere. Go with that. Atmosphere. No, that's uh, one of the uh, climate. Climate. Right? The climate, the atmosphere, the feeling. The atmosphere has two different, several types of meanings. All right, the atmosphere in the room. If you're in a soccer match, the atmosphere in the room means what? Or the atmosphere in the stadium. The intensity, the loud, the happiness, the sadness. If your team, if your team loses, what is the atmosphere? Anger. Yeah, everyone's angry. They go out. In some places in Europe. They do what? They, they flip cars over, they burn things down because yeah. they mad because their team lost. Right? Same thing for some American sports. <laughs> or atmosphere can be what? More scientific word, meaning what? The, uh... the sky. Yeah. Right? The sky, the atmosphere. Yeah. When you look, up, you look amongst, you look beyond the atmosphere. Yeah. Right? Biometeorologists, biometeorologists. The scientists, they, uh, they study the air. What does bio mean? Bio, what does that mean? Bio. Bio, what does that mean? No? Life. 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 So meteorologists does what? It's a scientist. It does he what? He studies the, the effects of weather. On okay. So a biometeorologist would be what? Studying life. So how uh, someone who studies how climate and weather affects life. human beings or life. Yes. All right. Blood pressure. Elvis. Yes. Blood. In your, in your is the pressure the amount of pressure that's in your blood? Yes. All right. Or how your blood circulate circulates high or low? Diseases. Illnesses. Illnesses. Disorder. Uh, someone does have money. So what is something that's not right? Yeah. Something that's not working right. Effects. I just put it here. Influence. Flu or influenza. Uh, cold. A, a bad cold, right? Flu can kill you, right? Headaches. 
Pain in the head. Pain in the heart. Or that's when your heart stops working, right? Heart stops working. Louis C.K. has a funny joke about heart attack. I think it's Louis C.K. Humidity. So that's when you have a combination of what? Like uh, water and heat. Yeah. Like jitter. creates like jada. Yeah. Yeah. When you have a combination of water and heat together, you yeah. can build some yeah. right. yes. Moods. Your feelings. Your feelings. Personalities. Character. Personalities. 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 Right. Your, your how you act. And how you act, right? Yeah. Or behavior. Yeah, your your mood will determine. Sometimes people's moods will suggest their personality. All right. Uh, pneumonia. And you just I don't know what's the name. Chest. It's a chest cold. It's a chest um, cold that could kill you. Yeah, that that's what comes in yeah. your chest. Yeah. Researchers. <coughs> explorers. <coughs> people who do what? Go up. They, follow, they follow the scientific method to do what? To solve a question. To answer a question or solve a problem. Yes. Scientists, same thing. Right. Strokes. The blood that uh, stop in your mind. In your brain. Right. So it's, it's a lack of oxygen yeah. to the brain, right? A lack, of, a lack of oxygen because of a lack of blood flow to your brain. Temperature. A measurement of what? How cold or hot or something is, right? What are the two temperature measurements? Celsius, Celsius. 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 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Weather? A climate. Just climate. Yeah. Right. A verb. Effect. So like the Same like thing as influence, it's just a verb. Cause? Uh, the reason. The reason. The reason. Increase. Increase. Comes up. Uh, Rise. Right. Rules. Adding on. Influence. Effect. 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 Adjectives. Depressed. 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 Depressing. The state of being miserable. The state of being miserable. Drier or dry. Uh, needs water. It lacks water, right? Yeah. Uh, forceful, powerful, powerful, demanding, yeah. controlling, humid. The weather when it comes to the water. State of being, state humidity. of humidity. What happens? How you feel when you have humidity, right? Yes. Irritable. Uh, someone gets angry. Um, nervous. Yeah, you're Us. angry. You're, you're nervous. You're angry. You don't want to be dealt with. You don't want no, no one to talk to you. You're not happy. Moody, you feel a change, a change, you change in, uh, your mood, yeah. change your mood. Nervous, nervous like, like, us the quiz. like us, like students at a quiz. Yeah. Okay. Physical, uh, uh, body, right. Yeah. It, meaning that you're literally there, you can you're touch physically it. there, yeah. tangible, dealing with the body, touch. touch. All right. Don't physically touch me. Don't physically put your hands on me. Right. Yeah. Uh, powerful, like strong, force. strong, strong. Yeah. Um, the amount of what force, right? Yeah. Sudden, instant, yeah. happened. Yeah, it just happened without without you knowing, yeah. right? Without you being aware. Oh, and warmer, hot, hot, hot. Okay. Now, looking at the words that are in this reading selection, what what can we determine about what we're about to read? Weather. The effects of weather. Yeah. The effects of weather. Yeah. The scientists they study. On, on what? On humans. humans. Yeah. The effects of weather on humans. So what I want you to do tonight, because we're going to take the quiz now, is I want you to read that and be prepared to talk about it tomorrow. All right. All right. Put your books away.